In this screen capture video, I'm going to show how I used Windows Media Player to extract audio from um, CDs and save them to MP3 files so that they can be played on a computer without a CD player. So first I'll launch Windows Media Player. Make this full screen. And you can see that Windows Media Player has already recognized that I have something in the uh, CD. I'm going to, uh, before I rip it, I'm going to show you some of my settings. So if I click on Organize, Options, On the library tab, these are my settings. On the plugin tab, I didn't make any changes to the defaults. On the privacy tab, I unchecked send unique player ID to content providers, and I also unchecked I want to help make Microsoft software and services even better by sending player usage data to Microsoft. In security, I didn't make any changes. On network, I left the settings as I found them. On player, these were my settings. On RIP Music, the default selection for ripping the music um, was a different location. So I clicked on Change and directed it to be saved in the location that you see there. If I wanted to give a particular file name, I could click on that. The RIP Settings, the format that I chose is MP3. Other possibilities are what you see listed here. I unchecked RIP, RIP CD automatically, and I left checked Eject CD after ripping. For audio quality, I moved the slider to best quality. Devices, I made no changes there. I'm not going to burn anything, but if I were, I'd want to set the burn speed to fastest. And for performance, I chose to have uh, the computer detect the connect speed and to use default bu buffering. Um, I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to go into RIP uh, settings. And you'll see that many of these duplicate what we've already seen. So the format is going to be MP3. Uh, I unchecked, once again, RIP CD automatically. I left checked Eject CD after ripping. Clicking on more options, I didn't find anything that needed to be changed. So I'm going to close this. And now I'm going to click on um, RIP CD. Here you can see the process. And I'm going to fast forward through this. You don't need to watch the entire process of all of these being converted. The ripping process is finished now. and the CD is ejected. Now I'm going to go to see the output.
And there you can see uh, the results of the ripping. Let me play the first one as proof of concept. And there you have it.